Hello everyone. Today we have an exciting Noted Flow demonstration that showcases web scrapping and PDF generation. In this demo, we will walk through each node in the flow and understand how it works. The flow code will be provided in the description below so you can try it out yourself. Our journey begins with the HTTP in node. This node sets up a web endpoint at web scrap with a get method. This endpoint will trigger our flow allowing us to fetch data from a specific URL. The HTTP request node is responsible for fetching the HTML content from a predefined URL. In this demo, we are scrapping new article from InShorts website. The fetch HTML will be then processed further in the upcoming nodes. HTML node. Next up, we have the HTML node named Extract Data. This node extracts text content from HTML using a specified HTML tag. In this case, div. The extracted data will be the foundation for our PDF generation. Function node. Moving along, we encounter the function node named create pdf. This node contains a javascript function that processes the extracted data and generates a pdf definition. Let's dive into the code within the function. This javascript function named generate pdf processes the data by filtering out array items with less than 10 words and create a PDF definition. The PDF definition is then sent to the PDF make node for further processing. The generated PDF will include array items that meet the word count criteria separated by new lines. PDF make node. Our PDF generation that takes shape with the PDF make node, it receives the PDF definition and converts it into a PDF buffer using the PDF make library. This buffer will serve as our PDF file content. File node. The file node node comes into a play as the PDF content is written to the file. In this demo, the generated PDF will be saved in this folder structure. The file node handles the file writing processes. To gain insights into the PDF definition and debug a flow, we have a debug node. It's an excellent tool for examining intermediate data during development. HTTP response node. Finally, the HTTP response node conclude our flow by sending an HTTP response. This response signifies the completion of our web scrapping and PDF generation process. The conclusion that's wrap up our noted flow demonstration you can find the complete flow code in the description below to explore and experiment with web scrapping and pdf generation in your own noted projects if you have any questions or ideas for future demos feel free to leave them in the comments happy coding